I think uh, congratulations to all the winners. Uh, I see that there are many young people here who are publishing, you know, from the Sing Health perspective in really very good uh, journals, uh, international journals, and uh, I hope that you continue to see this as, uh, uh, as part of our development of uh, academic medicine, right? Not just being able to uh, think of ideas and uh, think of projects and to have clinical observations, but to be able to have that final product. So I always told a lot of people that, you know, the final product is a publication. It is an internationally recognized currency and, and it's a currency that you will keep. No one can take that away from you. It is something that's benchmarked and it is something that uh, you know, we, uh, we will encourage everyone in this campus to continue to pursue. So I think I hope that uh, a lot of the people here uh, that have received the award will go on to receive more of the Sukichi Awards by having this you know, every few years essentially. Uh, so I think, again, congratulations to uh, everyone. I'd like to invite all the star uh, award uh, uh, up here. I suppose you can say it's a fireside chat or it's just a way of us saying that, you know, we do have really outstanding clinician scientists in this campus and we'd like to just hear from some of these people who have a very distinguished careers uh, and who have done it from right from uh, when they were young all the way to being very senior and we'd like to just maybe learn something from them and have them share their thoughts about what uh, young people like you out here uh, could do and what we need to do from this campus. So I'm going to get started first by asking everyone to quickly introduce them, their area of expertise, and then, uh, uh, and then pass the mic around. So I'm going to start with E.K. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm E.K. Tan. I'm from the uh, National New Science Institute. Uh, my research interest is very varied, from clinical trials to clinical studies, uh, genetics, and uh, the primary focus now is on uh, 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 proteins encoded by disease-causing genes, uh, using the uh, understanding the pathophysiology and using the various uh, in vivo models. Uh, hi, and thanks for being here. My name is Salvo Albani. I'm uh, the director of the uh, Sing Health uh, Translational Immunology and uh, Inflammatory Center. Uh, my main area of interest uh, and my passion is the manipulation and un understanding and manipulation of adaptive immunity for therapeutic purposes. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to go from idea to phase two trial and with other trials, hopefully beyond. And more recently, we are developing uh, uh, high throughput models uh, to identify signatures which can predict uh, disease outcomes, but also can uh, uh, more correctly uh, stratify uh, patient populations based on molecular patterns more than phenotypes. So I'm Michael Chi, a uh, cognitive neuroscientist at the Neuroscience in Behavioral Disorders Program at Duke and US Graduate Medical School. Um, my work is primarily on the cognitive neuroscience of um, sleep deprivation and also um, on healthy cognitive aging. In the first area, um, the goals of the research are to uncover the mechanisms underlying performance degradation when people are sleep deprived and increasing number of people are. Um, this work also includes a component of translation. We will be um, performing um, a trial on uh, sleep extension and its benefits on high school uh, children from the cognitive and uh, neural networks end next year. Um, in the realm of cognitive aging, we have been following a cohort of healthy um, Singaporeans aged from 65 to 85 years for about eight years, tracking their um, cognitive changes and brain, uh, uh, brain structural changes as well as um, functional connectivity alterations over time. Hopefully this will form the basis for setting expectations about um, healthy cognitive aging, uh, which is a significant issue in our rapidly aging population. My name is Carl Tripasson. Um, like many scientists who are sitting here on the floor um, stage, I had a long and winding road before I ended up in Singapore. I'm born in Iceland went from Iceland to Finland to study, not medicine, but architecture, went from there to medicine, from there to America as a postdoc, from America back to Finland, 
from Finland back to America, <laughs> from America back to Finland, and then to Sweden, and now I'm in Singapore. I'm a physician scientist, and it's very typical for us that we are hungry, we are very curious about the causes of diseases and how we can help uh, understand them and develop uh, um, maybe new treatments or at least diagnostics. And uh, I myself, I got into research because I found regular medicine. I, I did a lot of general prax practitioner work and I'm a specialist, but I found the routine work kind of boring. So I, I find much more pleasure in, in doing new things, uh, trying to to uh, get explanations for diseases and, and so on. So um, I'm here uh, at Duke NUS. I'm uh, uh, also a professor at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. I have two laboratories, one there and one here. And here in Singapore, I work primarily on um, uh, the mechanisms and get understanding of why patients with diabetes get complications. They lose their kidney function, they get blind, they have to be amputated, and this is a major, major problem in this country, as in a lot of countries in Southeast Asia. And uh, another project that we have is to use uh, molecules of the extracellular matrix, the connective tissue, to develop stem cells, develop them into different types of cells that can be used for cell therapy in the future and for and just uh, studying toxicology mechanisms uh, on cells and organs in a laboratory setting. And I'm uh, very happy to be here. Singapore is a really outstanding uh, place for doing basic biomedical research. And uh, we hope that we'll be able to help build up translational research together with uh, hospitals and particularly for us at Duke NUS to work with SingHealth. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Antonio Bertoletti. First, thank you for the invitation. So uh, I start to work at the Emerging Viral Disease, Duke and US, but I've been in Singapore already seven years. I'm an infectious disease doctor as a training. I've also been traveling quite a lot because I graduated in Italy. Then I went to work a couple of years in San Diego where actually I met Salvatore Albani that was also there for a postdoc. And then um, I moved back to Italy, then London, where I've been working seven years at the University College of London. And seven years ago, I arrived here in Singapore. Uh, my research area is hepatitis B virus infection. Uh, the laboratory is working on trying to develop new potential therapy for this chronic infection that is particularly, uh, it has a particularly high incidence in Asia. And this is, was one of the reasons why actually I, I moved to Asia. Uh, the other reason, of course, was actually the, the generous and the nice environment, scientific environment here in Singapore. And now I'm happy to be in this new family, uh, even though I still have a, a, some, a laboratory at ASTAR. Okay, thanks very much. So I think that's a good uh, introduction. <laughs>